The World's Greatest Detective, Big Max, by Ken Plate, with pictures by Robert Lockshare. Big Max was the world's greatest detective. Everyone knew it. The king of Puka Puka knew it. He called Big Max on the telephone. Come quickly, he cried. Someone has stolen Jumbo, my prize elephant. Do not worry, said Big Max. I will be right there. I will find him for you. Will you come by plane or boat? The king asked. By umbrella, Big Max said. Big Max took a deep breath. He blew into his umbrella. The umbrella filled with air. Big Max flew through the sky. On the way, he met some birds. We are flying south for the winter, said the birds. What are you doing? I am looking for a missing elephant, Big Max said. You won't find him up here, said one of the birds, but feel free to look around. Thank you, said Big Max. They flew over a ship. I smell something burning, said Big Max. Sorry, we can't help you. Birds can't smell, said the birds. Big Max flew down to the ship. He spoke to the captain. Pardon me, Big Max said. I smell something burning. The captain laughed. Ha ha, he said. That is the smoke from the smokestacks. This smoke is coming from your pocket, Big Max said. My pipe, cried Captain. He took it out of his pocket. I forgot it was still lit. You are a great detective. I try to be, said Big Max. Big Max flew on. It began to rain. It's a good thing I travel by umbrella, Big Max said. When he came to Puka Puka, Big Max flew down. The king was waiting for him. That is a great way to travel, said the king. It got me here, said Big Max. The king led Big Max to the palace. I will give you anything I have if you find Jumbo, he said. I will find him, said Big Max. The king showed Big Max a room full of rubies. He showed him a room full of emeralds. He showed him a room full of gold. Do you charge a lot, asked the king. Not that much, said Big Max. Who would want to steal Jumbo? asked Big Max. Everybody, said the king, because Jumbo is the best elephant in the world. How old is Jumbo? Big Max asked. He will be four years old tomorrow, said the king. Ah, said Big Max. Is that a clue? asked the king. We shall see, said Big Max. Was Jumbo happy here? asked Big Max. He was very happy, said the king, until a week ago. What happened then? asked Big Max. He became sad, said the king. It is the first time he has been sad since I got him, the king said. When did you get him? asked Big Max. Almost a year ago, said the king. Take me to where you last saw Jumbo, said Big Max. The king led him outside. He opened a lock on the gate. Here, he said, in this courtyard. Big Max looked all around. He looked up at the high walls. Elephants cannot climb walls, said Big Max. Big Max looked at the gate. Was the gate locked, he asked. Yes, said the king, and I have the only key. Hmm, Big Max said. Elephants cannot open locks. Big Max looked at the ground. Jumbo was not stolen, he said. How do you know, asked the king. There are no footprints, except Jumbo's, said Big Max. Then how did he get out, asked the king. We shall see, said Big Max. I see a clue, said Big Max. The ground is wet. 
Did it rain? It always rains in Puka Puka, said the king. Perhaps you are not such a great detective after all. We shall see, said Big Max. It was very hot. Big Max sat down to think. What a wonderful idea, he said. An ice chair for hot days. Jumbo likes to sit on ice too, said the king. That is why I always have so much ice here. I do not see much ice, said Big Max, only little pieces. Big Max looked down. He was sitting on the ground. This ice melts very fast, Big Max said. What is on the other side of the wall, he asked. A high hill, said the king. Ha, said Big Max. Now I know how Jumbo did it. We must look outside the wall. Big Mac said, hurry. They hurried outside the wall. They hurried down the hill. Ha, said Big Max, I was right. Look, here are tracks. You are right, said the king. These could be Jumbo's tracks, said Big Max. We must follow them. They followed the tracks. If we find out where Jumbo went, said Big Max, we may find out why he went. I see, said the king. Ha, said Big Max, I see another clue. I see tears. The king looked at the clue. I do not know why Jumbo was so unhappy, he said. We shall see, said Big Max. If we know why Jumbo went, said Big Max, then we will know where he went. I see, said the king. You are a great detective. Look and think, said Big Max. That is the secret. They followed the trail of the tracks. They followed the trail of the tears. They walked all night. They walked all the next day. The trail went uphill. They followed it. Suddenly, Big Max stopped. Wait, Big Mac said, something is wrong. We are following the wrong trail. Hurry, they went down the hill, they hurried. Then they heard a loud sound, arg. What was that, asked the king. Well, said Big Max, let us think. It was not an elephant. Elephants do not sound like that. They do not say arg. Big Mac said, just as I thought, these are not elephant tears, they are crocodile tears. They are bigger than elephant tears. Let us think, Big Max, this path has long, sharp teeth. It has long red tongue. It has crocodile tears instead of elephant tears. So it must be a crocodile. Big Max turned around. I was right. It is a crocodile, said Big Max. See for yourself. I take your word for it, said the king. It is a good thing. I came by umbrella, Big Max said. He cannot bite now. Big Max pushed the crocodile into the water. Then he took out his umbrella. You nearly fooled me with that wrong clue, he said to the crocodile. I'm so sorry, the crocodile said. A big tear rolled out of his eye. Look, he is crying, said the king. That means he is sorry. A crocodile's tear can fool you, said Big Max. He is crying because he did not have us for dinner. Don't remind me, said the crocodile. He cried some more. Big Max and the king went back to the right trail. They walked through the jungle and they heard a lot of noise. The noise got louder. The ground shook. The trees shook. Big Max and the king of Puka Puka shook. We must turn back, said the king. It is an earthquake. No, said Big Max. It is not an earthquake. It is a party. A party, asked the king. An elephant party, said Big Max. He pointed through the trees. Look, 
Big Mac said. There were a lot of elephants. They were dancing. They danced so hard, the ground shook. There is Jumbo, said the king. I see him. He is dancing too. Big Mac smiled. Another case solved, he said. It is a birthday party for Jumbo, said Big Max. That is why he went away, to spend his birthday with his family. The king ran to Jumbo. Happy birthday, Jumbo, he said. How did you find me, asked Jumbo. Ask Big Max, said the king. We followed your trail to find out where you went and to find out why you went, said Big Max. I would still like to know how he went, said the king. It was the ice, said Big Max. Jumbo took the cakes of ice. He put one on top of the another. He made steps out of them. He fooled me at first because there were no steps to see, only some melting ice. Jumbo walked up the stair steps of ice. He walked to the top of the wall. Behind the wall was a high hill. He walked over the wall. He walked down the hill. Yes, said Jumbo, that is how. Now I know how you went. Now I know where you went. Now I know why you went, the king said. I did not know a birthday party was so important. It is for elephants, said Big Max. Elephants like to be together, especially on birthdays. I am sorry I did not know, said the king of Puka Puka. Next year, I will invite all your family to a birthday party at the palace. That way we can all be together. You are a very great detective, the king said to Big Max. You can have any of my treasures as a reward for finding Jumbo. If you don't mind, said Big Max, I would rather have a piece of Jumbo's birthday cake. I don't mind, said the king. Jumbo gave Big Max and the king pieces of cake. My, what good cake, the king said. Then he ate another piece. Then one more. Don't eat too much, said Jumbo, or I won't be able to carry you back to Puka Puka. The king stopped eating cake. Happy birthday, Jumbo, he said. Happy birthday, Jumbo, said Jumbo's family. Happy birthday, Jumbo, said Big Max. He took a deep breath. He blew into his umbrella and goodbye, said Big Max, the greatest detective in the world. The end.